Video conferencing on your Chromebook is pretty easy. Your camera and microphone are already built in, and there isn't much configuration that you have to do. The easiest way to get started is to open your video conferencing website of choice. There are many options out there, from WebEx, to Zoom, to Google Hangouts, and many more to choose from. It's really up to you on what you want to use. As an example, I'm going to use WebEx. When I create an account and go to start a meeting, the web page will ask for permission to use the microphone and camera. All you need to do is click Allow, and you'll be able to start your video conference. For websites that use native browser-based conferencing, these are the only steps that you need to do to get going. Other video conferencing websites may have you install an app from the Chrome Web Store. Take Zoom, for example. If you go to Host a Meeting, you'll be asked to install Zoom from the Chrome Web Store. Click Install from Chrome Web Store, and you'll be brought to the Zoom app page. In the upper right-hand corner, click Add to Chrome. Chrome will let you know what Zoom will have access to on your Chromebook. As long as you're okay with this, click Add App. Zoom will download and install automatically. And then launch your video conference. Other video conferencing apps may ask you to install from the Chrome Web Store as well, but the process will always be very similar. If you ever want to see what websites have access to your camera and microphone, in Chrome, click the three dots in the upper right corner beside the address bar, and then go to Settings. In the search box at the top, type Content Settings. And then scroll down and click on Content Settings. From here, click on Camera, and you'll be able to see which websites are allowed to use your camera. If you want to remove a website's permissions, you can click the delete icon to the right of it. You can also see these same permissions under Microphone. You'll notice that Zoom doesn't show up in these permissions, and that's because I had to install it from the Chrome Web Store. To view it, click the three dots in the upper right corner of Chrome, go to More Tools, and then go to Extensions. You'll see a list of your different Chrome apps, including any video conferencing ones you've installed. If you click on Details for one of them, you can see what permissions it has. If you ever want to, you can turn the app off with the toggle here. Or, from the Extensions page, you can remove it completely. If you have any other questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site.